Welcome to Sports and Touring and today we are at the Morgan factory in Malvern. But yeah, it's going to be interesting, we're going to get to do a factory tour and then we're going to be able to drive one of the cars later. Let's have a quick look around the car park because there's Mr. J1 cars, 430 Scuderia just behind us. He's the man who set up this whole day. A few cool other cars we're gonna have a quick look at and then we're gonna head inside. So you can tell this is a bit of a mecca for car enthusiasts. Obviously people are gonna bring their cars that they love, like their pride and joys. Our 370Z Nismo right there. You've got this uh, cool M2 competition and you've got another M2 just there. And just behind the M2 you've got a Giulia Quadrifoglio. I think that's how you pronounce them. I'm not too sure but these things are very cool. We actually got the opportunity to go out in one of these uh, at Silverstone. But these cars are really really cool and we've also got a Carrera 4S just pulling in. We've got this absolutely massive Rolls-Royce Phantom. Crazy. Then we've got Mr. JM on cars 430 Scuderia. Uh, obviously we made a whole video on this car. He took me out for his first drive which was absolutely awesome. Next to that there's a Lotus Savora, the car that James built his channel on, a Lotus Savora. Uh, so it's cool to see one of those here. Uh, there's also a Cayman next to that, uh, an Audi S5 and a Vauxhall VX220. Now these are very, very, very cool. These things are awesome, but I just remember the VX220 Turbo being an absolute machine. And then obviously we've got this C of Morgans just sitting out here and a very cool Aero 8 sitting right there. That's the one Morgan that I do have to say that I'm actually pretty interested in. Um, but yeah, that's looking very cool. But yeah, let's uh, head inside. Now if you come here and you go on the factory tour, which you can access via the link in the description via the Morgan website, you will get to see exactly how these cars are made, step by step. You can see how so much attention to detail goes into every part of making one of these cars. Find out more about the process of how they bend the wood and how it gets bonded. Now, one of the common misconceptions about Morgans is that the chassis is actually made from wood, from ash specifically. And it's not actually the chassis. The chassis is actually bonded aluminium. The frame that a lot of the interior parts are mounted to, those are made of wood, and they're made in a way where it's both strong and light. I suppose it's the carbon fiber of early 1900s. And that was a fun fact that I actually didn't know until we came onto this tour. Now, we don't want to give too much away about the kind of things that they talk about and show you here, but they experience was absolutely awesome and while we were there we got a nice surprise where we got to see the plus four CXT this is a limited edition of only eight cars that have been built in conjunction with Rally Raid a company that both competes in and prepares vehicles for the Dakar Rally now this was a very very cool car to see very rare and we're not sure when we're going to get to see one ever again but the experience was absolutely awesome make sure you check that link in the description to book your tour next we're going to head out in this the morgan plus four and of course if you happen to come for your own visit to the morgan factory you can also rent one of these for anything from an hour to an entire day check the link in the description for full details There's something like, I don't know, like I feel like I'm driving a piece of history, but without it necessarily leaving a trail of oil behind because it's a modern car with a modern engine, with modern brakes and modern suspension. This has an aluminium bonded chassis uh, that was introduced in 2020, I believe. And prior to that, the uh, plus four uh, was made with a steel chassis and had been that way i think for 90 years or something crazy like that Ooh, hear the turbo yeah it's so Ooh. weird hearing that turbo noise you forgot one very important thing what's that s plus s plus whatever that means whatever that means but right, here we go 60 let's see how the car feels Uh, 
the six cylinder obviously is a little faster than this that comes with around just over 300 horsepower you really do feel the the nose of this car being way out in front of you it's a very odd sensation but quite a satisfying one if i'm honest right so let's have a little bit of fun with this car narrow country lanes and what these things were made for. Now luckily this car does have ABS and it doesn't have anything else there so it takes a lot of driving skill to drive this car on its edge. Um, but yeah, well from the passenger seat even it feels like a heavy little car, it feels kind of fun. Yeah, well, it's making me smile. <laughs> and this is what cars are supposed to do. Cars like this, they're, they're just meant to touch your heart. So we're in the archive room and here we have the EV three-wheeler. Now, I believe this was only made as a prototype. Obviously, this is a necessary part of the development into the future because in 2030, you won't be able to buy any petrol powered cars in the UK from new, not anymore, obviously secondhand ones. And right here, we've got the Aero 8. This is the one that really comes to mind for me. I think this is similar to the spec that Richard Hammond had. And I remember Jeremy Clarkson always used to make fun of how the front of the car was uh, cross-eyed. And I believe that was for actually for aerodynamic reasons, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. I love the wheels on this and the big brakes. This is a Morgan Aero 8, uh, not the GT, if I'm correct. Let's just have a look at the spec sheet. Yeah, Morgan Aero 8, uh, six-speed BMW 4.8 liter, liter V8. But this thing is wicked. It's got the soft top roof and it is just an absolutely mega looking car. Um, this is a bit different to the one that we saw in the archive, but this one uh, does look very, very cool. Uh, and under this lighting and this kind of cream colour, I think it actually really suits the car. Uh, and over this way, we have an Aero 8 GT. Uh, now this one is a very cool spec. This, this is the actual car that I've seen in a lot of uh, online articles about this car. But one that is uh, in an even cooler spec, we're going to be able to have a close and personal look at. This is one of the reasons why we started the channel, because it allows us to do things that normally you wouldn't get to do if you were just visiting the factory for their typical factory tour. And that is to get special access to this. So this is the Morgan Aero 8 GT. The Aero 8 has always been my favorite shape and design that Morgan have ever done. Uh, this is inspired off of their GT3 race car. And I think because they make a GT3 race car version of this, it's probably why it was my favorite car because obviously I love racing, but this thing is awesome. There's a few differences compared to the normal Morgan Aero 8. It's got these extra canards for Aero, it just got a slightly more aggressive design everywhere. I'm pretty sure these vents are different. Uh, the louved fenders, vents, uh, this stripe that goes around the edge. I love the spec that this person chose. Gloss black with that satin gray stripe. I think that is absolutely perfect. The interior is so cool. It's got these carbon fiber fixed buckets, which look absolutely mega. Black on black interior as well. Got the piano black accents. Uh, it's got the uh, screen in there, but it's awesome. It looks like an absolutely wicked car. The Aero GT also has this vent on the roof, which looks so cool. I think that's inspired by the GT3 race car. And the thing at the back, it's got this aggressive diffuser. It just makes the car look ready for action. And these extra vents here. So specification wise, it is a 4.8 liter BMW V8. It has 367 brake horsepower. 370 foot-pounds of torque 
and does 0 to 60 in around four seconds and it hits a top speed of 170 miles an hour and this thing I reckon would feel like an absolute rocket getting there because it's so light it's got these massive AP racing brakes it's got the manual gearbox so you get that really analog experience when driving the car and it makes it really feel raw uh, some of these new Morgans are going towards the paddle shifters and when you've got a car that's got this kind of design essence right it's so old school you want to have that manual gearbox to really give you that experience but I think this thing is absolutely awesome this is my favorite Morgan I've ever seen And one of the things that I really like about this car is also the side exit twin exhaust. I really like the old school design. It just looks like the kind of thing that would have been in an episode of Thunderbirds back in the day when I was a kid. So thank you for joining us today. And another huge thank you to James of JML Cars for organizing this little trip for many of his subscribers and friends. And if you want your own driving experience in a Morgan Plus 4, make sure you check out the link in the description where you can book both your own factory tour and your experience drive in a Morgan and if you've enjoyed today make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that like button hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon choose notifications on all videos and we'll see you next time on Sports and Touring